Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and uh, we're going to do a re-upload, and uh, this is for the game Quartet, and also Quartet 2. Quartet 2 is not a sequel to Quartet, it is the same game, but in Quartet you get to play uh, four-player simultaneous play, if you like, and in Quartet 2 you only get to play two-player simultaneous play, up to... Now here is a list of all the power-ups you can collect in the game. Speed up, jump high, shield, jet engine, which allows you to fly around, uh, shoot power-up, shot power-up, stops enemies, blah, 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 blah. But um, there's a lot of bonus point prizes, too. But uh, the characters you can play as are Lee, Joe, Mary, and Edgar. Um, some might be faster than others. Uh, some might have uh, better shots than others or something. But uh, I remember seeing this in arcades back in the day. Yeah, this is the first of my re-uploads. I'm going to re-upload some uh, older videos that had really crappy uh, uh, sound quality on the narration. So I'm going to redo a bunch of those. But uh, if you have requests... Uh, I might get to them some other day in the future. Only a key opens the door. Open and the there door. will be a boss that has the key to the exit, and you must destroy the boss and then collect the key. And he may not uh, be close to the exit door. It's an okay game. It's kind of like Gauntlet, if you remember that one, in that there are uh, monster generators and you need to get to the exit. And those monster generators are these little uh, circles that'll open up, these little portals or whatever that will open up and enemies will come out of them. And you have a numerical energy meter like in Gauntlet, and you put in an extra quarter and you can get a thousand uh, uh, energy units. Which sounds like a lot, but when you get hit, you generally lose, like, I think, a hundred or so. And you can put in another quarter during gameplay and add a thousand energy to your uh, life meter. I'm just going to start with one guy. We will see each character. And he, right away here, we can pick up the uh, jetpack. The jetpack's very helpful. There will be a bouncing orb here and there that can give you uh, maybe better shots for your uh, weapon. Uh, you know, a weapon upgrade. Give you like wave shots or rapid fire or uh, faster shots or something. There will sometimes be a coin that you can collect uh, that will give you extra points and it will shuffle its value. And you can uh, change the color of the bouncing orb by shooting at it. There is the boss that I needed to, that I need to shoot enough times, and he surrendered the key. Now, if you get hit and you have the key, you will drop it, and it may uh, fly backwards. And that's how you beat a level. And uh, any items you might have collected, you can get bonus bonus uh, points for. But that's really how each level goes. Uh, watch out for the enemies that come out of the generators. Um, and when they open up, an enemy's just about to come out. Um, just make your way to the exit. And I got the jetpack again. Make your way to the exit. Uh, when you destroy the boss and collect the key. And go in the door. And go to the next level. That's really all there is to it. Not a great game, but not terrible by any means. This uh, definitely saw a, a release on um, the Sega Master System. There will be some areas eventually where you'll need to crawl underneath, and you can't do that with the jetpack. And on those levels where you have to crawl under, you might not have a, a jetpack. Right, there might not be one you can get on that level. 
like I said, we'll see. We'll see every uh, every uh, uh, character. I'll play as every character. There are like 30 different levels, and they will repeat. There is so there's uh, no end. On this level, we have uh, some guys that will climb ladders, and they will climb up after you or climb down after you. But yeah, each level is always the same. Look for the exit. When you're climbing up a ladder, you can shoot upwards, which is nice. And you can shoot downwards when climbing down a ladder. You cannot fire upwards when just standing on a platform. That would be nice. But you can't do that. Ouch! <laughs> Your uh, character makes a funny sound when they get hit. Ugh! <laughs> and they can lose certain special items when they get hit. They can lose like a jetpack. Um, they can lose uh, other other things. But yeah, some of the levels are really long, um, and the uh, exit may be far away from where the boss is which means you have to get the key and then go all the way to the other end of the level to find the uh, exit door. And here's the boss. Uh, some of the bosses, when they see you, they will move real fast at you. Just like uh, this boss. There's, uh, there's no time limit per se, but you will lose energy a uh, little bit by bit, like maybe, uh, I think, ten digits in, like, five seconds. But, uh, yeah. Now we've got all sorts of these uh, ladder-climbing guys. And we've got these little uh, overhead bars that we got to shimmy across. Yeah, I'd seen this in... Uh, Arcades. It's not super common, but uh, I think I saw it once. And like I said, it gained uh, popularity from its uh, Sega Master System release. And once I die with uh, Lee, we will uh, we will look at Joe, and then Mary, and then Edgar. Mary, I think, is the fastest. Ah, crap. Ooh, uh. <laughs> yeah, each character has some goofy uh, response to getting hit. But yeah, that's all. Ah, crap. Yeah, when your energy is really low, it'll start to flash. But that's that's each level. Just find the boss. Ah, oh, crap! He hit me. Yeah, he's running when he sees me, so I should have gotten out of the way. <laughs> and angels come down and take you away when you when you die. Then you get to put in your initials, and then you get an opportunity to continue. And you can put in a a coin in the uh, correct slot to choose a certain character. And this time, I'm gonna play as Joe. die already there. We got his key. And the exit is conveniently located right by the key after I kill the boss. When you play uh, multiple players at once, you have the opportunity to gain uh, special bonuses. Like uh, if you were the one that picked up the key, um, if you were the first one in the door maybe, stuff like that. Whoops. <laughs> Funny, uh, funny little uh, sounds that they make. Ah, oh, crap! But yeah, that's all there is to there. There now he can uh, duck and crawl since he doesn't have a jetpack on. Yeah, this game's okay. It's got some decent music. Yeah, I did not have the uh, Sega Master System. 
I was I was more into Nintendo and then the Sega Genesis. And now we've got a, a flying uh, boss. Ah, oh, crap. We're just gonna zip forward. Uh, I just wanted to uh, open the door and move on, and eventually we'll see uh, Mary in action. But yeah, this is a quartet, and you can play four players simultaneous play, up to four players. Uh, and uh, Quartet 2 is not a sequel, it is just up to only two players simultaneous play. And on this level we now have some, uh, some blob that chases after you and tries to latch onto you. Now we'll scoot forward and watch Joe die. Put in my initials. There's another flying boss enemy that has the key. And we'll uh, have a look at Mary. She is. I kind of like Mary. She's got a. She's got a nice uh, weapon. Whoops. Ouch. Yeah. The game isn't super forgiving in terms of collision detection. If you just brush up against an enemy, then uh, you're gonna get hit. So we gotta, we gotta go all the way back. This is one of those levels where it's not convenient where the uh, where the boss is as to uh, where the exit is. So we gotta go all the other way. There will be later levels where you have to like shoot walls to get through. There's a weapon power up. It's an okay game. It's definitely playable. It's got some nice music. Yeah, and in just a moment we'll look at uh, Edgar. Yeah, we'll skip forward and watch Mary die. <laughs> I like the angels, I think that's a funny touch. Now that stupid plant thing is hard to see, the one that killed me. Sometimes its uh, body disappears and you just see the legs. And here is Oscar, the, the big guy. It's an interesting uh, shot, an uh, arcing shot. We'll just look at him for a little bit. Yeah, I, I hate that plant thing. And now we're just going to skip forward and we're going to watch four players play simultaneously later on. There will be a, a trampoline you can jump on and bounce way high. Where we're going to see all our players play at once. And uh, you can you can kind of get stuck if you move on and you have the guy lagging behind. You need to have them uh, uh, get unstuck so they can so everyone can keep up together. And now there's the key. I put on invincibility with these guys, I think. And now, uh, Joe needs to get in. There we go. And yeah, Oscar gets a big bonus, because I think he was maybe first through the door. But that's... Now we're gonna take a quick look at uh, Quartet 2, which is just two-player simultaneous play. And you get a, a choose... sort of, uh, which two players you want to play. See, the highlighted ones are the ones that the computer will let you play. Joe, Mary, Lee, or Joe, or Mary and Edgar, I think. But otherwise, it plays the same. <laughs> it's an okay game. But yeah, it, it plays exactly the same as Quartet 1. But that is Quartet by Sega in 1986 and Quartet 2 by Sega in 1986, not a sequel. This is Crazy Climb Radies, and thanks for watching Quartet and Quartet 2 by Sega in 1986. I will catch you later in the future with another upload. I uh, hope you all have a good one. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.